Hello everyone and welcome back in to the uh, third video in the series. Uh, we, uh, in the first video we went over the C5 file and we found out how to paint the car. Second video we went into the S files and learned how to make the car shiny or dull or metallic. And today we're going to get a little more technical and start dealing with the underscore n.bmap files. What these files do, they give uh, hills and valleys to some of the textures on the side of the cars, on the hood of the cars, so that it doesn't just look like a flat paint job. You can kind of see here on the side of the car how everything's super smooth. Let's say you want to uh, add a logo on the side, but you want that logo to kind of pop and look like it's uh, sticking out of the car, like in a 3D effect. Well, that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so let's start right here. Let's say that you've already painted your car and this is what your car looks like. This is what the paint job to your car looks like. We can kind of change the opacity and you can see where it's at. I'm going to give instructions down below of how to install this plugin for uh, GIMP to make normal maps. Uh, and I'm also going to link a video along with it so that you can kind of follow along like I did and uh, get the plugin installed. It's super, super easy. It won't take you very long at all. It took me seriously about five minutes to get it all done and it's something that I have used multiple times and I'm super glad that I used it. I uh, want to give props to uh, a guy named Tattoo that is in the WC Discord. He is the one that linked the video. So thank you to him. And I thought I would share with you guys. Once you get the normal map installed, you can check and see if it's working by going to filters, going down to map, and you'll see normal map. If you don't see this, then you need to make sure that you uh, get the plugin installed correctly. If, uh, if, you've, if you have installed it while GIMP is running, then you need to close GIMP and restart it. So I'm going to do this today. I want to uh, add a logo to the side of the car. I'm just going to do it in plain text because it's something super simple and super fast and I don't want to make this a very long video. You can do this with any logo uh, if you want to do a different text, all that stuff. You know, it's, it's endless possibilities. This is just going to be very generic. I'm going to type raised. There we go, I made it white. Uh, and the way the normal map works, um, black in normal map makes things indented, and white makes things raised. So everything in between those two spectrums will give you a different effect. So usually I take the logo and try to paint the logo solid white so that it, so that it sticks out. Some people like indented look, but I will, uh, I'll play around with it and let you see kind of what things do and what don't do. We're going to start with a simple text that says raised, all in white. I'm going to hide this scan01c5 file so I can see the placement on the car. I'm going to have to scale it to get it to fit. I'm going to try that and see how that looks. Okay, so let's export this as a C5 file and get it on the car before we do anything with the end map. You see the new date and time. Let's check it out on the car. All right, there's your text. I don't know if you can really tell on the video, but it's just, it blends perfectly in with the paint, which is a fine look, but sometimes you want to be raised to make it look a little cooler. So that's what we're working with. So let's now switch back over to GIMP and let's start on working on the end file. Okay, the way the normal map plugin works, it only deals with a single layer. So you see over here we have three layers. We have the custom PNG, the skin 01, C5 PNG, and then the text layer. You're going to have to color this whole canvas. 
So you can't just, you know, hide these layers and leave just that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide or just completely delete this skin01 C5 file. Because we're not dealing with pretty pictures anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that layer. And now we're going to take this layer, the custom PNG layer, and just paint it a solid black color. And that gives you a super smooth surface to work with. And the only thing that will be raised is just the letters of raised. You're going to need to uh, merge this layer down too because you have to make it all into one layer. Okay, once you have your single layer that you want to use, you're going to want to go to filters. Go down to map. And then to normal map. And it's going to pop up this little box over here. I'm going to make it a little bigger so you can see it. And the settings that I always use in here, I go to 9x9 nine nine from the filter box. And then scale, you can kind of play with this one. I usually use 10 because I want the full effect. Anything more than 10 in here kind of stretches the paint and, and distorts the logo a little. So I don't really like to go over 10. But you can see when you raise the scale, you can see the image over here changing just a little bit. Uh, 10 is uh, super effect 1. You can barely see the effect, so I just go to, I usually just go to 10. And I'll show you what this button over here, the 3D preview. It's a pretty cool little tool that I, I don't use very often, but some people do, I'm sure. It gives you a, a kind of a preview of what it's going to look like. When you click that, it pops up this window. And if you use the left mouse button, it lets you tilt the image. And if you use the right mouse button, it lets you zoom in and out. You just click and hold it and then move your mouse. Now you can see how this surface around it is super flat. And then this, just the raised logo, is raised a little bit. And you can kind of see the shadows and the light. It's a pretty cool little addition that they put in there to the plugin. So it's definitely useful to some people. Okay, once you once you do that, you're just going to click OK, and it's going to turn your image into an in map image. And there you go. You can kind of see how all the rest of the car is going to be super flat, and the only thing that's going to be raised is the text raised. And then this works just like any other file that we have been working on. You're going to go to File, and then Export As. And instead of the C5, it's going to say skin01 underscore in dot TGA and click on export. Export. Pull up the files. And you can see it right here. That's what we just exported. You're going to want to drag this over to the build asset and it's going to replace the skin01 underscore in BMAP. Oh, also, a little side note I forgot to mention at the beginning. Um, the underscore N files also work just like the underscore S and the underscore C5 files. They have a damaged layer. I don't really uh, replace the damaged underscore N. I usually leave it as is because that is kind of the texture that it shows whenever you wreck the car. So there's really no point in making a smooth wrecked layer because you want it to be dented anyways. So I just leave the damaged underscore N file alone. It works just like any other file. You just click off the paint job and click back and you'll see the new effect. So I'm going to show you before. You can see it's super smooth. And now you can kind of see how it's raised. It's a pretty simple process. Makes a big difference on the car. So hopefully you guys get to play around with that a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I plan on making a, making a few more. So I will catch you all next time. Yeah.